Hey y'all, good morning. Today is January 24th and I'm going to take y'all along for a keto full day of eating. I'm about to start my day off by getting that sleepy puppy, taking him on a walk, making me some coffee, and then I have to head on over to class. Let's go. I just weighed out everything that is going into my coffee this morning. I did one serving of collagen, one serving of heavy whipping cream, a half of a serving of my iso amino in the French vanilla flavor, and one serving of Kerrygold butter. I'm going to use the vanilla bean cream brulee coffee. Of course, the big setting. Whoa! Whoa! What is it? What is it? Come on, let's go party! I just went to Target and grabbed a couple things I needed but there's something I wanted to address because I don't know if it's apparent or not but a couple things have happened and my heart just kind of feels like it's shattered into a million pieces but I am trying to stay positive and keep a smile on my face because I can't sit here and be sad so if I do come off sad in any of my videos, just know that I'm working on it. I'm working on it. On a lighter note, let's go home, play with my puppy, eat some lunch before I go back to school. going to make a protein waffle for breakfast. I'm going to use a scoop of my Mansports Clean Protein in the peanut butter bits flavor, one egg, and a little bit of baking powder. I'm going to mix this up and then add water until it is pancake batter consistency. All right, I've got it into like a thick batter-like consistency and we are going to heat up the waffle iron and just dump it in. For my first meal of the day, I am having a protein waffle with half of a serving of peanut butter and then six slices of bacon. And look at that face. What is it, dog? Also, I put a little splash of cashew milk on my waffle to use as syrup. I just finished eating breakfast, and now I'm about to head back to class. I have food microbiology lab, then calculus. Calculus sucks, by the way. Really bad. Why you look so sad? Why you look so sad? What's up, pup? Hey guys, I am just getting home from class and calculus is so freaking hard. I put off math for like four years and that was stupid of me because I am so rusty real bad. Anyways, I have approximately 30 minutes to go put on some different clothing and take out Bo, get me a drink. And then I'm going to my study abroad meeting. I looked up the menu for the place where we're going for dinner, but that is a tip. If you're ever going somewhere, look up online because almost all places now, especially if they're a chain, have nutrition information for their products. So got online, looked up what I was interested in eating, 
saw the carbs, the nutritional information. While likely it's not going to be exactly what the calorie and macronutrient content is of your serving, it's going to be very close. So, fun little tip of the day. Guys, I wanted to show y'all this gift my friend sent me. Oh, it's a selfie cookie. It's a cookie with her face on it. Isn't that funny? Called selfie cookie. Oh, it's got crumbs all over my desk. It is now about 8.30. I went to Nuke's for dinner and I had a Greek salad and I picked off all the cucumbers, tomatoes, and olives and I think there's about 10 net carbs in the salad and I drank two, can't see, I drank two giant cups of unsweetened tea and I have got to pee like a darn racehorse. Oh my golly. So I will check in with y'all in a few minutes Cause I gotta go pee. What is it, Bo? <coughs> Get him. <coughs> what is it? <coughs> I am going to make low carb gummies. It is pretty simple to make, and we are going to give it a go. I am going to use one scoop of my isoamino BCAAs in the Sweet Delish flavor by Mansports. You need three packets of this gelatin by Knox unflavored. And there's four packets in a box. And you'll need a half of a cup of water a silicone mold tray got that on Amazon and a small saucepan. Basically you're going to add your water, your gelatin, and your scoop of BCAAs into a saucepan until it starts to gel. I have been heating it for about five minutes now. I'm going to set it over here and let it start gelling. And when it does, we will start filling up these little cups. I let this cool and it's starting to gel. So I'm going to scoop a few spoonfuls into a couple of these containers. This made quite a few of these little gummy things and so we're going to stick them in the fridge and let them harden. I just pulled out my little gummies from the fridge. They've been in there about an hour and they have already gelled quite well. The only thing that's in this recipe is protein. I think there's 24 grams of protein from the gelatin in this entire serving. I am going to just pop some of these out and then stick them in a Ziploc bag to eat tomorrow. Let's do a live taste test. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's literally like candy that I'm actually allowed to eat. I would give it two thumbs up, but the other hand is holding my camera. If you drink BCAAs, give this a try. Why are you twitchy? Twitchy. My roommate made cinnamon tea, so she had this left over, so I am going to drink it. It's literally just water boiled together with cinnamon sticks. Because I was kind of low on my fat today, I added two servings of heavy whipping cream into my cinnamon tea as well as some of this pure sweetener. 
I have not had enough fat tonight, so I am ending my night off with some chopped pecans. Just one serving or 30 grams of them. Hey guys, so I just wanted to take a minute to just chat with y'all before I close out this video. So I have not been to the gym in about two weeks almost, which is kind of unheard of for me. I had gotten back like some bad numbers on my blood work, so I decided to just take a couple days off, let my body rest. I started new medication and I figured as long as I was watching what I was eating, then you know, a short break probably would actually do me good. But sometimes it is okay to let your body rest and recover from quite a lot of stuff. I have started my new medication for my PCOS symptoms and fingers freaking crossed that it's going to help with some of this fluid retention that my body is holding on to. Like I can just see it in my face. Like I usually don't have these like dimples on my cheek like that's how much fluid is being retained in my face and it just i'm not going to lie it is the most frustrating thing when you work so hard for your body to only just be like <laughs> screw you you're gaining weight and you know sometimes it is hard to keep a positive attitude but now that we have kind of addressed some of the problems that I'm facing and I'm working with a doctor to try and overcome some of this, I'm trying to hold on to hope that this hard work will pay off. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching today's full day of eating. I will list today's entire macros on the screen. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And I will see y'all again tomorrow with another video. Bye, guys. Mwah.